Cuban mambo evolved nearly at the same time as cha-cha-cha, also from danson. In Cuba, mambo as a social dance never gained such popularity as cha-cha-cha. It remained mostly on stage for solo show performances. In contrast, the American rhythm mambo was usually danced in a couple which was skillfully demonstrated by Tony Meredith and Nadia Eftedal, renowned dance teachers and former champions. I find the difference between the Cuban experience of Latin dancing and the American style of Latin dancing significantly huge differences. I mean, coming here and actually being able to participate in this um, culture and the dancing and the music and not only that, but really listening to the history, um, the historians that were talking about the mambo and um, or and or the clave and the rhythm and the danzón and the son, you know, for me it uh, it gave me a clearer sense of where that rhythm and where that beat came from, as well as the roots. I'm very excited, and I love being here in Cuba because it simply allows uh, for greater freedom of dance and to bring out what the body feels from the heart and unfortunately competitive uh, dancing does not always allow for that. Mambo gained worldwide popularity in 1948 when Perez Prado composed Querico Mambo and Mambo No. 5, which caused the explosion of Mambo Mania during the 50s. It was at that time that the Palladium Ballroom in New York was one of the hottest dance floors around. To date, mambo remains an American rhythm style competitive dance, along with bolero, rumba cha-cha-cha and swing. <laughs>